a pleasant good morning to you all how your subconscious or your conscious is doing this morning adorable i have something that is disturbing me it is um osiris the underworld god he's basically disturbing me a lot sending all of these predators to me and i don't like it stop it stop it i know you're tuning into my video stop it if you're looking right now stop it i say that again stop it i don't like it no one like it go back to the underworld man like um the underworld is getting too hot for you so you want to show you dirty the dirty scum back self on this universe to get back underneath man and stop the rubbish but that is not what i want to really elaborate about this morning it's about my people they basically don't understand the concept of what i'm trying to elaborate to them over youtube so i'm going to do a broad review in the topics that i basically touch base with the first one is going to be the introduction but i'm going to pause for a few seconds so you guys can your brain can formulate the, um these this message that i'm basically brought forth to you guys The first one was um the, during the introduction I mentioned Osiris and medieval and eco and stuff like that. I'm going to be I'm going to explain it right now. Osiris is basically underworld god. He he be, he has a wife by the name of Osir um Aisha, and because of some compl complementation they have between each other i don't i can't even recall the story properly but the thing is those are not the only two person you also have amon ra he's a bit he's the sun god and jesus also the sun god and horas all of those are sun god you have more people but i don't want to elaborate up, um, on those people because I don't see the necessary for it so i'm just going to elaborate on my stuff they also contribute medieval and if you basically um look in the bible follow the bible i'm no i'm not really uh i'm a follower but the thing is i don't dilute myself in the bible anymore i kind of um read some of the scriptures and stuff like that but not right now So the next thing is no toxic first non toxic I, I literally explain it to you guys but I'm going to do it again. Toxic is basically involved the five senses and non toxic have toxic same way. And next topic is polyester, neon and pH scale. Polyester is basically fabric fabric that basically when you randomly wash it in a washing machine it release a microfiber into the ocean in the sewage and causing to be putrid holy also neon neon is also plastic they have a bacteria and um latex also and the ph scale now is um they are 40 increment from one to 40 right and basically at seven is neutralization where what i really mean by seven is um acidic right below is acidic above is um alkaline or base so from our face our skin i should say on stomach everything has to be below seven for all humanity and, uh, and above seven is going to be like um 
you're going to be prob encounter with problem and death and so on all of those things encounter those things and next thing i touch base is organic organic right so organic i told you what is organic organic is basically you plant a seed outside and you basically combine it with two elements carbon and hydrogen because without carbon and hydrogen none of us will be living on this earth and stuff like that and it don't cut organic also don't really um promote um toxic like rodent this side and pesticide and bacticide fungus all of those <laughs> they don't contribute but the cotton does and the next topic is malazizia is basically it's um, a bacteria that is basically um in your head it it um literally feed out our lipids that is be uh, fat and stuff like that that's why i don't recommend you guys using ac because ac wrap those things away so that bacteria can't be able to feed or do its work properly but uh, and next one is cardiovascular system the cardiovascular system as i mentioned earlier is um is how the body operate and stuff like that because there are four things beyond the cardiovascular system does it basically um it transport hormone it transport blood it transport glucose it transport oxygen and so on and next one is plasma plasma is basically protein you see when your skin basically um cut or something like that you see some black skin over your skin making it heal that is plasma and the next one that um i basically pause that for now is metabolic process i pause that that is basically um lifting and grilling because they are the major hormone there are more hormone in it um lifting grilling Cortisol, testosterone, but um, those are the major ones because they, they're the lifting and grilling is basically hunger hormone, and the one that say, I'm empty. I need. I'm empty. I need to fill. So, lifting. I, yeah, lifting is that one. I think. And the, and I go on surf. Um, surf so fucked. Uh, fuck the relation. So factoration <coughs> that is basically process of the chemical process of making soap and stuff like that but I never I never finish that topic so I will go on it I will pause for pause for a few minutes no not minutes seconds and then I will elaborate more about it and then I dig deep into what I'm going to say today yeah so you remember the last video that i basically said to you guys that um um during the chemical process you have to um combine two things to make soap they are basically um glycemic and basically fat fatty fats fatty acid those are two things they have to combine to make soap. So what is glycemic? It's a small um anemonous um acid that I should say. It is also no what I should say is back in ancient history ancient um, time they used to use um ashes and pork pork fat as fat and stuff of those things and um, what is natural versus um, organic because that is important because not because most of these company promote say they are organic and when you look on their logo is basically natural and natural is something that natural as it means right 
is like a, um, a tree outside. You basically plant outside, but guess what? You encounter the rodent, the soil, the pesticide, the herbicide, all of those things combine and make um, that tree grow. But organic now is just two elements or um, more. No, I shouldn't say two elements because arsenic is also present in it. In organics. But you see, in commercial, com <laughs> those are the manufacturers, I should say. They ramp up these soap making, putting some adhesive in them. Adhesive because, um, like, um, sugar they basically put sugar, sugar and salt and so on make them um, bubble right so that's what they do because they are trying to man they are trying to basically um not making it so um inexpensive they are trying to make it um not so expensive on our make it tight budget but while doing that it's promoting a negative impact on us so that's why i don't like it i want that's why i, I um, i'm trying to tell you guys how to make a natural so what it's all up to you guys and what i should say also liquid liquid soap liquid soap i'm having um potassium um oxidide i think and um solid soap um having um that's a lie i'm basically telling you solid soap having uh, sodium oxide and stuff like that the sodium oxide um is basically harsh that's what i'm trying to say it's basically harsh and potassium oxide is not so harsh but in every like i told you that is risky so I don't know what to say really but I need you guys to do four things for me to, to basically leave your choice share and be a dominant subscriber to productivity on this implementation so you can get the latest update and do also leave a comment so I can elaborate with you Thank you all for tuning into Productivity. Have a nice day, everyone.